Today we're going to be making some heat pads that have the temperature dropped outside and it's super cold. So we're going to make a neck wrap and a back pad. These are going to be microwavable. We're going to fill them with corn. The first thing we're going to do is cut this into seven inch strip for the neck wrap. We're going to be using our cutting board. We're going to start from the one and go over to where the seven inch mark is. And then we're going to cut a 10 inch piece for the back pad. So we're going to move this over to the 17 inch. Actually, we're going to do 12 inches. All right, so our back pad is um, cut at 12 inches. We're also going to cut that one in half. So when we get done, after we sew this up, it'll actually be 10 by 10 because we're going to have about a half an inch on each side for a uh, seam, seam allowance. So we are going to move to the sewing machine next and get these sewn up. Okay, we're using the um, Singer and we're going to be using all cotton upholstery thread because this is going to be microwaved, we don't want polyester, it will melt. That is why we're going to be using cotton flannel today because the cotton flannel doesn't break down in the microwave if, as much as if you used a polyester fabric. So, this is we're going to fold this in half, inside out, and we're just going to run a seam down both sides. I'm not going to pin or tape or anything, I can do this without that. We're going to make our seam allowance a little extra thick than we normally would because there's going to be a lot of pressure on that. So, forward and backwards. We're going to do the same with the neck wrap. We're going to Turn it right sides in, and we're just going to sew right down this edge. right after we uh, refill the bobbin.
Now we're going to run a seam down the down the opposite side. Let's just say that over again. Now we're going to run a seam down the opposite side. Okay, now we're going to turn these both inside out. Okay, now that they're turned inside out, what we need to do is take this top um, edge here and roll it down about a half an inch. Like that. Now you can either eyeball it and sew right down the middle of this with these open, because we need that to put the corn in, we need to get a we need to get a stitch right down the middle of this. Without those channels, um, your corn won't stay where it needs to stay. So, in order to get it right down the middle, just fold this in half. This is a wash away disappearing ink pen. Just put a small line every so often right here on the edge of your fabric. Okay, here we go. We're going to sew right down the center of this. We're just going to follow the marks I put on them on the fabric. We're going to leave this here and get the back pad ready. And we're also going to fold it in half and mark this edge here. But we're also going to have to mark this edge here. We're going to do four channels. Okay, don't forget to fold this in a half an inch, or, yeah, about a half an inch. Okay, we're going to do the center one first.
is that one I need them right there. All right. And one more time. Now that we've got channels sewn into our cotton flannel here, we're going to take this funnel. It has a bigger end in it. You can get this in the um, auto section of Walmart, but you need a bigger end so the corn will go through it. So we're going to stick that in our little uh, channel. You can get this at a feed store or um, the bird feed section of most places. Okay, very important. If you have too much corn in your um, neck wrap, it won't bend in the middle. So you need at least four or five fingers wrapped over the top of this in order for it to work properly. So we're gonna stick just a little bit more corn over here in this side. Okay, now our top has been folded over, so all we have to do is sew a little spot across the top of this and we're done. So we're gonna set this over here. Go ahead. Okay, now we just need to sew a seam across the top. We're gonna go back and forth once or twice. Okay, we did that so that it wouldn't come undone. It really kind of needs to be done across there twice. All right, so now we're going to um, fill up the back pad. Again, we don't want to get this too full, but we want to get some corn in here.
we got about four fingers there again, a little bit more in this end piece. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing and sew this shut across the top. We're gonna to go over it twice to make sure it doesn't come unsewn. We are now ready to microwave these. You don't want to get them too hot. Start out with a minute and then for every, and then, if, and then mix it up, stick it in for 30 more seconds until it's as warm as you want it. You can overheat these if you, um, I would never microwave them more than three minutes at a time, but just be careful. One minute and then every 30 seconds until you're, it's as hot as you want it to be. And I also like to keep mine in the freezer. If you get migraines, these are awesome to put across the top of your head or around the back of your neck to help with migraines. And they're perfect for the winter time. If the kids come in from outside, they can use them as hand warmers. If you like these videos, please subscribe, share, and like. Um, I really appreciate it. And we'll be back again with something new next week. Thank you.